Chair on Rob, that vigil wrapping up just a few minutes ago, this was a gathering in support of that family that's now in mourning, but it was also meant to send a message that hate has no place in this community. In Plainfield, hundreds united in grief and shock, filling this gymnasium and pouring out their hearts. Many parents bringing their children, some about the same age as Wadi Al Fayyum, who was murdered eight days after celebrating his sixth birthday. The energy, the love, the commitment and the understanding that you have brought here tonight should not end as we walk out those doors. This gathering of people of diverse faiths comes three days after police say Wadi was stabbed to death and his mother critically wounded at the Plainfield home where the family rented rooms. Prosecutors say their landlord, Joseph Chuba, who the family says used to buy toys for Wadi, attacked the mother and child who are Palestinian American because he was angry about the Israel Hamas war. Plainfield Mayor Jean Argadelis. One of the uh, elements of this village is, is a desire by this community and so many thousands in this community to make a statement rejecting hate because that is not who we are as Plainfield. Wadi was a student at Central Elementary School in Plainfield. The district telling parents it's keeping a close eye on children for any signs of emotional distress and that its school safety plan includes increased monitoring of student and staff interactions. And let's, as a collective community, hold a moment of silence to honor Wadiya and his family. At the vigil, mourners honoring Wadi with their silence, but also with their voice, which they say has never been clearer. Wadiya, beyond being just a victim of a hate crime, is now a source of is now a source of light. Um, it is now the face of a movement, hopefully in Illinois, in America, to get people to really open their eyes. There was one tense moment during the vigil when a representative from the White House who's here from Washington spoke to the crowd. He was booed and heckled by some here who are not happy with the president's position on the war. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.